Mount Kilimanjaro rises 19,341 feet high above the Tanzanian plains of Africa. It is the world's tallest freestanding mountain and is also the tallest mountain in the African continent. In this video, I'll be heading from my hometown two hours outside of Toronto all the way to Tanzania for the experience of a lifetime to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Yeah, yeah. Good first day on the mountain. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought that was. Good to go. <laughs> just finishing off the day here and uh, just writing down some notes from the day. Yeah, day two tomorrow. Long hike, eight hours tomorrow, 17 kilometers. And we're skipping Shira 1, we're all the way to Shira 2 camp. Um, it's because we're doing this in 7 days versus the typical 8 days that it takes to do the whole Shira. <laughs> Firstly, uh, Kilimanjaro is made up with a...
Day four, I think, and uh, forgot to give you guys an update. But we made it to Barranco Camp last night, and uh, wow, we got a first glimpse of the beautiful mountain. Or sorry, first first glimpse of the snow on the mountain, and uh, we're gonna climb up there in about ten minutes. So wish us luck. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Da, da. Tell what you tell me. Sim, sim, you want to make your children. Sim, sim, you want to make your children. Jambo, jambo, bana. Abarigani. Mzuri sana. Wageni. Wageni. Wakaribisha. Ili manjaro. Hakuna matata. Leo ni baranko. Hakuna matata.
would walk 5,000 meters and I would walk 895 more just to see the top of Kilimanjaro. That's all I know. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. stoked man I have been feeling great today I actually feel my body getting stronger and stronger and this whole hike is getting easier and easier um, which is good <laughs> tomorrow we got another four hours hike to our next camp better food camp after that we have summit night and that is uh, that's gonna be something I have to say watching all the porters today there was a lot of ups and downs and uh, incredible incredible even the porter that carried my bag I know how heavy my bag is and he carries it on his head the whole way lots of steep descents and ascents and uh, actually actual hands and feet scrambling and I couldn't imagine doing that with I don't even know what my pack weighs but it's definitely in and around 20 kilograms heavy 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 but uh, he's a beast the porters are superhumans and uh, we wouldn't be here without them One more time, get low, get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. to the window, to the wall, to the wall. <laughs> Thank you. 
last ten is about to blow away. What do you think? Pretty sure that pole's not supposed to look like that. Madness! I love it. <laughs> I just want to say to all my friends and family, I love you guys so much, and um, I want to leave you with this. Whatever it is, that thing that you want to do in your life, go do it. Make it happen. Life's short. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and it's the most rewarding I could have ever imagined. So, whatever it is, go climb that fucking mountain. Love you guys. Peace out. Wow, what an adventure. Last time I left you guys, I was on the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. And I'm um, back at home now. Um, the rest of the hike went amazing. It was a long, long day. Um, all the way up to the summit. I think it took about eight hours in total. And it was just an absolute death march. But... Um, we made it, and uh, it was another eight hours back down to forest camp, so it was a 16-hour day. Um, I found that descending was almost probably harder, actually, now that, now that I think about it, um, than going up. Uh, it was just really hard on the knees. Um, but anyway, biggest takeaways from this experience... I knew that the mountain would be amazing and uh, you know, climbing it would be just a remarkable experience, but one of the biggest takeaways for me was um, just getting to connect with the local people, the guides and the porters, and uh, just get to, get to know them, get to hear their stories, and uh, I found that to be equally, if not more, amazing than the climb itself. Um, Another thing that really stuck out for me was just how phenomenal the guides and the porters and the cooks were. They literally treated us like family and uh, 
it was just an amazing experience from beginning to end. Every single person on the Climbing Kilimanjaro team had a smile ear to ear from beginning to end. And uh, I just, there are no words to describe how phenomenal they treated us on the mountain and the food and just, just everything was fantastic. Um, and so if you are considering doing this climb, first of all, I highly recommend it. Second of all, um, if you're looking for a company to help guide you to the summit, um, which I think you have to because I don't think you can do it without a guide, <laughs> uh, legally anyway, um, but if you're looking to do Mount Kilimanjaro, um, I'd highly recommend climbing Kilimanjaro. Uh, they're a local Tanzanian company. I visited their, uh, their shop and uh, they have really, really small grassroots business. Um, just filled with phenomenal people. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, guys, feel free to drop them below. So that's it for now. If you'd like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we got lots more adventures uh, on the horizon. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Over and out.